talking about the economy and the influence of bribery on the economies, we may remember one of the Asian tigers, Singapore. Is it much or little the GDP of Singapore, which is 310 million billion US dollars? This is the average annual loss of, the, of Russia alone due to corruption and bribery. Meet Sergei. Sergei was born free and died aged 37 after serving 358 days in a Moscow jail without any trial. And he became a symbol of a fight against corruption. Later, a bill was passed by US Congress and later signed by uh, US President Barack Obama to bar certain officials allegedly involved in this case to enter the United States of America. But was it enough to fight the corruption in Russia? Was it enough to harness the attitude of the enforcement of the Russian enforcement into individuals? Surely not. This, that's what we're talking today about. The, uh, that's what we will be talking today. Uh, have you heard the most famous facts about corruption? There is three quarters of the 178 countries in the Corruption Perception Index of the World Five. The average score is on, in the whole the globe is 43. The best anti-corruption index today is in Western Europe, which is the average just 66, where 100 is the highest point, with the absolutely clear, and zero means absolutely corrupt. The poorest regions today on the globe are uh, Sahara, uh, Sub-Saharan region in Africa, with the average score of 32, and Eastern Europe and Middle Asia, with the average score of 34, just two points, the difference between the Sub-Saharan region and Africa. And today we are talking about the Eastern Europe and the roots behind it. Actually, the roots are for corruption are far more big global. And when we're talking about the losses of the European economy, it uh, amounts to GDP of Kuwait alone. And it is just according to an estimate, it's Hundred and two and twenty billion euro annually. Come 
provides on behalf of all New Zealand member states. With the help of workers across Europe, the Middle East, Africa and India think bribery and corruption are acceptable ways to survive an economic downturn. Illicit financial flows, uh, tax evasion, bribery and theft are the major trends which lead to losses in developing countries which amount to 1.26 billion trillion US dollars annually, which is the equivalent to GDP of Switzerland and Saudi Arabia combined. Fewer than half of respondents know that their company's policy contains guidance of gifts, and less uh, than a quarter know policies of political contribution. What is the background for that situation which we're having today, say, in Eastern Europe? The roots go back into centuries, and if we deal with uh, corruption and the roots for corruption, we surely should mention the roots for the corruption and all for the Eastern European personality traits. The Mongol Tatarian of Yule, which was uh, imposed yet in 1242, even after that, even after the yoke, the Russian prince uh, secured a lot of procedures, a lot of practices uh, <coughs> were, that had been used for centuries by the Mongol Tatarian. <coughs> the besieged mentality of the Russian personality, because Russia has been invaded uh, from the west and from the east for centuries, all, uh, especially the uh, harsh winter conditions and severe winters, all this form the Russian personality, which the major traits of the Russian personality, I say of the Eastern European personality, is the ambivalence, and the uh, ambivalence and contradictions. Uh, British psychiatrist, uh, Henry, Dr. Henry Dix, who carried out a survey on the Russian personality, found out that found out that, yes, uh, found out that ambival uh, ambi uh, contradictoriness and ambivalence are the key traits of the Russian character. On the one side, the Russian character admits a generous, nature-loving, a tender person. But on the other side, it's often the cynical, the cruel Russian who will distrust his, his neighbors who uh, betrays friendship in order to pers for personal gain or for survival. These all led to ambiguity which even formed the Russian legislation. According to Russian legislation, a top manager of even a business company, I'm not talking even about the government or the government policies, are vulnerable to the law when each top manager well, he realizes his vulnerability and that he has a lot, very little chance to stay unguilty, which forms, say, a fundamental, funda fundamental uh, concrete for his or her behavior. And this vulnerability is often seen not on papers, not on the law, but on the practice, on how we, uh, we deal with. Duality in the Russian character is the key uh, to understand the roots for the bribery and for the corruption in the Russian, in the Eastern European Russian territories. Although today we're having a lot of countries on the former, um, on the former territory of the USSR, common traits are still are presented, are still presented in uh, the way the Russians, or say post Soviet uh, countries, deal. Uh, business or uh, deal with any issue. Here are a few insights on the international legislation in the anti corruption field. The main topics in the anti corruption legislation is uh, domestic bribery, uh, corruption of foreign public officials, 
facilitation payments, compliance programs, and other. At present, there are five laws set forth having the greatest weight in the world. The stricted requirements are uh, imposed in US legislation. There are a lot of indices used by the government to report the advantage and the achievements over, the, over a certain time in dealing with the economy, in managing the economy, and to draw investment. But not all of those indices, like the Doing Business Index, which is widely used by the Russian, by the Belarusian government, is so transparent in showing how the situation with, say, uh, with the vulnerability of the uh, property, of the physical security, or the corruption, which how the corruption issues are dealt. And uh, on this, due, according to doing business, Russia and Belarus have made tremendous uh, progress over the last decade. And today they're ranking on the 35 Russia and 37th uh, place in the world. And even Azerbaijan is very close to many European countries. Although we all know that the situation with anti corruption in these countries is really notorious. This uh, corruption percentage index which sheds more light on the issue of the political rivalry. There are 180 countries in the world which are surveyed by the covered by the index, and 100 shows that the country is absolutely clean. Uh, the perceived <coughs> uh, the perceived corruption in the world, uh, and zero shows that it's absolutely corrupt. According to this rating. Almost all the Eastern Europe and Sub-Saharan region, as I've mentioned already, are the most corrupt regions, and these are the rules which uh, rules of the game, which everyone should understand while dealing with Eastern Europe, and also understand what is the say the starting point for dealing for managing uh, anti-bribery in those countries. From 2015 till 2018, the Global Corruption Barometer has been released thanks for, uh, to five regional surveys. The studies track people's experience of corruption in their countries and review regional trends. The first of the series for Sub-Saharan Africa was released in autumn 2015. A Global Corruption Barometer it identifies which institutions are most corrupt. The police and elected officials crown the overall rating with 36%. Today people think that the government's doing little job in fighting corruption. This is the uh, general uh, presumption. Uh, and corruption today often seen as the only meaning to gain access to social service on a recent level. Uh, people often think that uh, households should pay additional money to gain access to social uh, to social um, services, and people in many countries often think that members of parliament and of uh, and governments are very often implicated in entwined with corruption issues. Also, we, when we're dealing with sport issues on a high profile, it's also acute. When we're talking about Russia law, Russia's police, the police in Russia, the military and the government are perceived by the population as the most corrupt spheres in which are uh, really uh, connected with uh, anti-bribery. 
The international anti-corruption standard was developed because no global, global standard designed, implement, uh, or evaluate on the organization anti-bribery management system. The preface uh, to the development of the standard first appeared in 1977. The standard was released in 2016 and based on the British national standard. The standard includes 10 basic elements of counter corruption in section number 8. In my opinion, here are the most important elements in implementing this standard. The anti-bribery program, the language use is important, the anti-bribery risk assessment and other. Uh, key components of this standard are conducting a risk assessment, training staff and business associates, verifying their compliance, monitoring high-risk payment and benefits, and other. Custom Union countries use the following elements of anti-corruption. Checking all closest relatives with a special check for property. Rotation of civil ser servants every five years. Reducing uh, the amount of money in cash and switching to electronic payments. And other. Well, uh, although corruption in the uh, Russian society, the societies of the Eastern Europe, has become so notorious for many Europeans and for many Americans, uh, such cases as the uh, Sergei Magnitsky case, as the campaigns raised by Alexei Navalny, one of the uh, few whistleblowers in Russia during <coughs> uh, high profile corruption. We hope that this, uh, the attitude of the of people changes. Why so? More and more people today understand that the corruption, especially in Eastern Europe, hinders the development of the country. It hinders the development of personality in our countries. It also uh, does not, uh, it uh, impedes the development of the country and brings more losses to the economy than anything else. Uh, and today we hope that the so the evolution which started some decades ago in, in Russian intelligence policy and also the new standards, the new standard in uh, anti bribery will set a new say, uh, level or understanding that this issue is not just a political issue. According to our practice, we have found uh, but more and more companies in Russia and in Belarus begin to understand that it's not just a certification which provides the chance to uh, deal with the Russian business, but it is also a chance for the business to be more fast, to be uh, to get the momentum, to really to produce innovative products and to provide a high uh, potential for future development. We hope the, um, the, say, the popularity the, which today nurtures its way to Russia, and to Belarus, to Ukraine, to other uh, Western Union countries will evolve one day into a movement, into a plant which cannot be stopped. Thank you very much for your attention.